like Steve I see online is like a camping character. The Steves I see in person have insanely good setups and like close range combos with just jab and up tilts. It's and now we have a Kazuya coming out. Yeah, look at that. Uh, that's not either Ganon or Joker. Yeah, so it seems like there's going to be a new Cosmic player in town. We're going to see how Hazel is going to be um, playing this one out on the Cosmic. Already seen the laser to catch Passion on the low end of the stage there. And a forward smash response from Passion to bring us to a pretty even start so far. But it looks like that my card is going to be packing up quite the punch and pulling them out of front. Honestly, I'm just glad to see some DLC characters finally getting their characters explored outside of the online era. Yeah, it's really interesting to see how that progresses as well in the coming months. There's going to be a, a lot more major offline events going on, so we're going to see that on the big screen as well. But for now, like you said, we're seeing the both of these two DLCs duking it out in our offline series, so we're going to have to see how it progresses. We already have Havel at 126 with the Rage, the Tekken Rage, I should say, and a great yeah. Battle Smash callout from Passion, and only 26% would stay. He is putting in some work against this Kazuya. Yeah, doing a great job of doing so. Look at that. Super tricky, especially throwing down that wooden block after his combo is over. That's right. And here we are. I mean, it's kind of crazy because I'm like, isn't it kind of weird how uh, Minecraft Steve has just as much combo game it feels like as Kazuya does? Well, it's, it's just like crazy setups. The dynamic for Steve as a character is he's incredibly strong close up, but you don't want to play him far away. Like, the last right. thing you want is for him to be far away from you, which is weird because he's very strong close to you. Right, kind of, kind of crazy how that works out, but hey, good follow there for Hazel with the down B. But 132 here on the second stock, and uh, things are starting to look like they're... Uh, Replaying from the first stock here. We're, we're so, so yeah, like with Kazuya, who is a very strong close up character against another close up character, yeah, I don't know, dude. Like the dynamic of the matchup seems Steve favored. Yeah, that's what it's starting to look like, but. Good job blocking that side B, but only to be met with another solid stream this time. What is a string? Following up with a down smash all the way up to 96%. And now that Hazel a... is going to be on the ropes for the entire first match. Was that a 96% combo? Was yes, that just that was. from zero? Oh my zero goodness, dude. 96. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm like, Kaji and Z, Loki have like, oh, oh <laughs> equally good combo game, but a good oh, Nair call out there from Hazel is going to be tying up the stock count. But again, that made at me 119, laugh. we're back to square one, but uh, these are going to be seeming a little bit more attainable now for Hable with a solid 44% streaming. Uh, a lot of great pressure to put Passion towards the end of the stage, only for a little bit. Passion is starting to run out of supplies. Hable needs to run in and start threatening uh, Steve's supply chain. Yeah, that would definitely be optimal, I feel like. Well, I've seen other players play against Passion, and by the end of the set, Passion is like out of supplies. He can't really. What is happening here? Oh, oh my god, what a yeah. comeback! There you and go, and that one big one. He was going to be pulling out in front of that first game there. Great finish from him there. And honestly, as I was making comments about like how Passion at the end of a set like runs out of supplies, that's what Havel took advantage of. Passion was busy mining. He didn't have anything. Yeah, he didn't really have too much to work with, and like you said, he has to take advantage of the situation. And I feel like that's going to be uh, what Hable's going to be needing to take advantage of going forward, but at the same yeah. time, Passion might be recognizing that and uh, might be having a game plan to prevent that from going on. He's got to be more careful when Kazuya's in his face towards the end of the set. Like, you need your supplies, but you need to survive first. Yeah, so Would that, this be an upset? Be for Passion to remember. If Havel took this set, would that be an upset over Passion? Um, yeah, it, it would be an upset. Right, okay, Passion okay. For tonight, so, being able to pull out this one would be quite the upset for Havel. What a air dodge down from, uh, or like a wave land from Havel. Just 
following passion onto that platform. Look at that string. Yeah, exactly. So, like you said there, there's going to be a lot of pressure here that um, he was going to be applying that kind of wasn't there at the beginning of the match, so it seems like he was trying to catch on with the fact that, like, hey, he might have known all along that, like, you know, a character like Cosmo needs to get into damage, but exactly how to go about that might have taken a minute to figure out, but it looks like he's going to be figuring it out pretty well, landing the Rage Art to close out the first stock in his favor, and 116 is going to be somewhat doable for a significantly heavy character like Kaz. He is starting to really get these follow-ups, but that was a nasty air dodge coming from Havel. Yeah, and an equally good call-out to to tie up the stock count, and now the percentage with a good string as well. And now Patch is going to be getting- Oh! Really oh, solid! Dang! Team. Finishing up with an up smash, putting him all the way to 113%. And now Hable's going to be on his ropes for the second stock. In fact, mm. he's going to be on the ropes for this entire match. As, um, yeah, and now, now, um, now we got Patch is trying to step up the pace a little bit here. Another nice wave land from uh, Havel. Unfortunately, he's not able to follow up, and Passion gets himself out of there. Right, but now, now, like we said, he's still going to be on the ropes. So uh, there's going to be a lot more work needed than that for him uh, to be able to bring this back. I was honestly at the beginning of this set. Uh, I was saying like Havel's doing such a good job leading, but Passion has absolutely turned this around. Tries to get the Electric Wind God Fist, but. There we go! Ooh, there we Not go. enough! Uppy. And again, really good call out, but uh, gonna be falling into the magma block. Up smash to have this set tied. And now, he he like, tried to kick it, but like the block itself was just too strong, and instead he put his foot out to, to lose the game. That'd be interesting if he could break the magma block. I mean, you can hit it. it it's almost it kind of acts like a projectile and how it's interactable. But yeah, I don't think you can. Can you break it? I don't know. No, 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 I don't think you can. Uh, it's weird how you can trade with it, for sure. Yeah, really weird. What I always thought was weird is that, like, I don't play too, too much Minecraft, but what's really weird is if you run out of a pickaxe, which is using that up smack, you'll literally just break a metal block. And you can <laughs> He's got them fists. I guess so, but uh, hey, it looks like. Uh, the, the King of the Iron Fist is going to be on, on the bit of the ropes here for... Because, I mean, it seems like he did a great job at adapting, but uh, Passion did an equally good job at adapting to uh, Hable's playstyle. And now seems to be completely controlling this first... Or this uh, last game, potentially. Oh, There's there we just... go! We got the TNT explosion! And now Passion's going to be pulling out of front with only 35% on this first stock, because... Yeah, he's using every part of the toolkit right now to push this lead in his favor. The, the benefit of having a character like Steve is that there are so many different ways to orient the blocks in ways that are new and confusing to your opponent. But when it comes to like a character who just punches and kicks, your character only punches and kicks in one way, and right. a, your your opponent will get used to that. Like. Steve yeah. has the benefit of con constantly being confusing and using his tools in different ways. Yeah, it, it's, it's really weird how that can work sometimes, because... Um, I mean, oh, but there you go, yeah, and now... I mean, like you said, it, like all that is starting to come together here. Um, but now Hable's going to be on the last legs here of this set, so it's going to be now or never. But there we go, parry from Passion, and taking that all the way getting some maximized damage, but there we go, Havel with a good call out, tries to get the laser to fall out of the nair! A nice spike, spike. can he live? Out. No. And yeah, now the momentum is going to be starting to push here in favor of Havel, but um, his stock count is still going to be a glaring issue that's going to have to be fixed now. Lord. I don't think he has his jump, and he, oh, he, he made it back. I got scared for that air dodge down. Okay. Good forward throw. Almost gets the laser, not quite. And Passion just gets himself back to center stage, needs to regain his items. Oh, yes, Block Dodge to get away from the car, but only to be met with forward air. And look at that, Passion's gonna be That's, uh, all the way. He makes it back with a side B. Yeah, really solid recovery there coming out from Passion. And the downside oh. to catch Abel's recovery is gonna be closing out the set 2 to 1. Great stuff from Abel getting that first game. But equally.